This is so annoying. When I want to create a spawning system, I need to create many game objects and to move them, I need to pick each one of them, see where are they in the scene and then move them to the right position. It's so inefficient and we get have a better way to do this. Well, we can with a bit of editor scripting and gizmos. Let's jump into our script when we have our five spawn points. Under our gizmos, we need to do two things. We need to change the gizmos color to the color that we want and then use the draw sphere with the position of the spawn points and the radius. Now let's just do this five more times for each spawn point. I'm just gonna change the colors for the different points. Okay, we solved the first problem to see where our spawn points are in the scene, but we still have the second problem that we can't move the spawn points and we need to pick the game object and move it. To fix this, we're gonna do a bit of editor scripting. We'll create a spawn manager editor script, add the using unity editor, and change the mono behavior to editor. To set it up in the custom editor script for our spawn manager, we'll use custom editor type of spawn manager. In the on scene GUI function, we'll start by setting a variable that will be the script of the spawn manager. We'll using the change check to update things in real time. We'll create a handle position in the position of the first spawn points with no orientation and save the data to a variable. And again, we're gonna duplicate this for every point. In the end of the change check, if anything has changed, we're gonna save it. Sometimes it doesn't save properly, so just use the editor utility does set dirty to make everything saved well. Now that we go back to our Unity script, you can see the handles that moved and the gizmos moved with them. And for the final part, I'm gonna remove all the transforms and replace them with Vector3 so we can remove all the game objects from our scene. Just remember to fix this in both of our scripts. Here we have our spawn point manager when we can see all of the data and spawn points in the scene, we can move them with the inspector or with our handles and we can see exactly where they are using the gizmos. I really I hope this helped you and let me know if you want me to make any more videos about editor scripting or gizmos. See you there, bye!